So what we got going on today is that there's about three to four acres over on the Shen farm that I need to drill alfalfa on yet. And that 18 acres I drilled on Friday, I completely finished that up that night. And uh, yesterday we didn't really do much. Um, Jeff is actually supposed to be bringing over his cold uh, We're gonna run the cold mulcher across all 20-ish, uh, 23, 24-ish acres of alfalfa that we've got then. And uh, we're not going to use the cold to packer because Jeff believes that the uh, cold to mulcher is going to do a little bit better of a job stirring it up and packing it down. So we're going to do that. Uh, Dad took the 8530 in the drill. As you can see, that's gone. And uh, he's going to possibly drill out uh, some beans on uh, that rye field. If not, he's going to go down to start counting uh, discs on tracks shut and also uh, take the. Uh, that wing mower down there also and uh, mow that wheat stubble that we didn't plant the beans on.
would I be planting soybeans on August 25th and at a population of 400 to 450,000? These beans that we have in the drill are leftover beans of, that are treated that we can't send back to the plant because they only accept non-treated soybeans for returns. So we've had these accumulated over the past couple of years from guys uh, having leftover treated beans and actually some of these are our leftover treated beans from this year. So we decided since there's no way in the world that we could double crop this and plus some of these beans are a couple years old that since the rye came off late and there was no way in the world we were even going to think about double cropping this field that uh, we're going to plant these beans as a cover crop and also come right back in and drill cereal rye on this. So hopefully today after I get these beans drilled in this field uh, we'll come back in here and drill cereal rye also. So we'll have a soybean cereal rye mix cover crop out here. This is one of our porous fields that we do farm. This is about a 20-ish, 18-ish acre field. Um, corn burns up around this time of year, so the corn's really normally only about 130, 100, 160 at its best. Beans, you can get about 40 bushel beans off here-ish. And uh, I would like this to be an alfalfa someday, so eventually this would be the goal to uh, eventually put this in alfalfa that way we can help build the organic matter some not saying that you're going to build it over a course of a few years but to at least help uh, build the soil biology up a little bit better in this ground and uh, since this ground isn't really fit for corn and soybeans without an irrigator. I know the Farm Progress Show is this week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, every other year, I know it's always in uh, Decatur. Uh, we always go to the one in Illinois just because it's closer. Um, I've never been to the one in Iowa. I know Dad and Grandpa have been to the one in Iowa once, just on, I think, a Pioneer uh, trip. Um, so again, I don't know if we're going or not. Uh, it'll probably be like a last minute day before thing. Um, if we do go though, I will be filming. So if you see me, feel free to come up and say hi. 